objectives of AM technology is to enable the production of more advanced high performance components. To do so, one of the key enablers is to be able to use high performance materials. Here's the thing, it's one thing to develop high performance materials for AM technologies, it's another one to do so while keeping sustainability in mind. And the challenge is even higher for both material, uh, polymer material producer due to the nature of your activity. So, Dominic, what are the tangible actions um, Evonik is currently taking to lead the way in this process? Thank you very much, Katie. Great question. I would like to come here over to our chart to explain that in a very simple way. So this is our chart to explain our holistic approach to sustainability based on four cornerstones. The first one is that while using PL12 infinite powders for producing 3D printing parts, there is zero waste. And we built on 25 years of experience, even more, in PL12 powders for this industry. We are a pioneer of the industry and we can ensure most grades of ours have zero waste in production. The next step then is to reduce Use the carbon footprint. And for that, we have just introduced for Formnex this year that all our Infinum PA12 grades will be translated into a reduced carbon footprint grade. This grade has almost 50% less CO2 emission while production. And the best, it's exactly the same product as it was before. How do we do that? We buy green energy in order to produce the material. The next step, which will come then next year, that is saving fossil resources. And it means basically that we use as feedstock either renewable feedstocks or even better recycled feedstocks. Again, this will be introduced next year to the market and we will see with the same properties as it is today. Last step then is working on recycling concept. That means that we need to ensure that every 3D printed product, if it is at end of life, can be reused from the beginning again to produce 3D printed parts. 